This is Candy Apple TV with DIY Queen Diva. I heard you were searching for the perfect caramel apple recipe. Well, look no further because I have the one with the nuts, the strawberry crunch, M&M's, and chocolate. Honey child, these are not your typical caramel apples. So go ahead and clean your apples like you do for your candy apples. If your apples look like this, you haven't cleaned them. They need to look like this. Use my candy apple cleaning method. Now we're going to go ahead and put 20 Oreos, 10 at a time, in the chop, chop, chopper, chop, chopper to make that strawberry crunch. This is some good strawberry crunch. Uh, this is a no-bake strawberry crunch. It's the best strawberry crunch that I have tasted because I'm that boot, school bed boot, and y'all know the rest. Okay, I just chopped up 10 Oreos. I'm gonna do 10 more. Mind your business, mind your business. Yes, I put two Oreos to the side so I can eat while my Oreos in the chop, chop, chopper. That's right, I'm doing mind your business. <laughs> Add a half a pack of this strawberry jello gelatin. Half a pack, not a whole pack. Half a pack. This goes a long way. Melt one third a cup of butter. One third. And pour it over your jello gelatin like this until it changes colors. Mix it up. Mix it up well. Man, I'm telling you, this is the best strawberry crunch that I have had thus far. Just like those caramel, North Khaki Lucky caramel apples. Oh, baby. This strawberry crunch is good, y'all. Real good. Just mix really well. This is really good. It looks good. And the texture is great. I use this for like on my strawberry crunch cupcakes, on cakes, ice cream, everything. So all you need is a half a pack of strawberry gelatin. Half a pack, guys. A third a cup of melted sea salted butter. And your 20 Oreos chop, chop, chopped. And the chop chop chopper. Now I have some Walmart pecan halves. My next topping will be these nuts. And I'm placing the pecans down in the chopper. You can also purchase your pecans already chopped up. 
but I already have these available so all I need to do is just chop them up and this will be my topping for the nuts on the caramel apples Okay, guys, so let's start on this good, good North Khaki Lucky Caramel Apple Recipe. I always use this sea salted butter, one cup. All the ingredients will be one cup. One cup ingredients, two sticks of butter equals one cup. Melt your butter first. Go ahead and melt your butter. Once you melt your butter, pour your one cup of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of corn syrup, light corn syrup, and one cup of sweetened condensed milk. Also, I use butter vanilla in my caramel apple recipe. I use two teaspoons, one and two. Now, combine all ingredients by giving this a good stir. You want this to be really blended well, so stir before putting on the stove. Once you get this on the stove, you're going to continue to stir until your caramel reaches about in between 235 to 240 degrees with your candy thermometer. This usually cooks about 20 minutes, but always go by your candy thermometer as a beginner. This is what your mixture should be looking like. This is what your mixture looks like in five minutes on the stove. In 10 minutes, it should be starting to boil like this your caramel for your caramel apples should be looking like this in 15 minutes getting really thick and here your caramel should be looking like this in 20 minutes with a darker brown not too dark but a darker tan brown color take it off the stove once your caramel has reached between 235 to 2, 235 to 240, take it off the stove. And this is what it should be looking like at this point. You don't need to ask anyone how long you need to let your caramel sit until you dip your apples. You just take an extra apple, always have one or two extra apples, and dip that first apple. This is too thin. This is not what I want. So I will let my caramel sit until it gets thicker. See? It's too thin. I don't want my caramel apples like this. That caramel is too thin. Now my caramel is thick where I want it to be. And I will dip the remaining apples in this caramel apple recipe.
now it's time to dip my caramel apples in my toppings. My first one is these nuts, the pecans. I am just rolling my caramel apple over the pecans. I know this baby is good. Mm, mm, mm. So I am just making sure I have all the pecans around the caramel like I want it. Now I'm not going to waste um, any of my pecans. What I will do is put it in a small little glass bowl and make some turtles um, with the leftover caramel and pecans. Next is the Ghirardelli chocolate, and this is all I use as far as white chocolate, milk chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, as far as melting chocolate. I pour one to two capfuls of vegetable oil. I don't use the Paramount crystals because many of us just have vegetable oil. So I'm using vegetable oil, what, you know, most people have in their pantry. And I'm using only one and a half tablespoons because this bag of Ghirardelli, they no longer make the 12 ounce or 16 ounces. It's all the way down to 10 ounces. So what you would do is put this in the microwave for 30 seconds stir like this then put it in the microwave again for another 30 seconds and the second time around it should look like this stir it real well let your chocolate sit on your kitchen counter until it cools down before you dip your caramel apples your chocolate should be looking like this dip your caramel apple into your chocolate scrape the extra chocolate on the side of your measuring cup or whatever you melted your chocolate in okay on this second apple i will be using m&ms once you dip your caramel apple in the chocolate, let the chocolate dry about two, three minutes, and then go ahead and roll your apple on top of the M&Ms. You do not want to do this totally wet with the chocolate because your M&Ms will slide off. Be gentle and let the chocolate and M&Ms dry on the caramel apple before picking back up. Now let's go to our good strawberry crunch. I did the same thing. Instead, I used white chocolate. Dip your caramel apple in white chocolate. Now rotate it in this good strawberry crunch. 
If you have enjoyed this caramel apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video. Thank you.